What up, Sailor Senshi? I'm Sailor Snubs. Welcome to my YouTube channel, where today is all about the Qpot collaboration and all the merch items that I have received in the mail from the 2018 collaboration line. I was super excited to buy all of these different items on the Qpot website, and FYI, a lot of them are still in stock, surprisingly, so you can still go over to the Qpot website and order some of these items. However, you will want to follow my tutorial that I did previously because Qpot only ships to domestic addresses. So with the online merch sales and I have it pulled up right here so I can give you the notes. They did have a couple of freebies however you couldn't choose the freebies. If you spent 20,000 yen you could get a Sailor Moon Q-Pot collaboration cushion which looks kind of like an ice cream cone. It's super cute and then if you spent 40,000 yen then you'd have the option of getting a t-shirt or the cushion. So if you did multiple orders you had the chance of receiving multiples of those free items. So I ended up getting two t-shirts and I got one cushion with all of my purchases because I ended up purchasing multiple times. Uh, the problem with the website is it went down. It got DDoSed basically because so many people were trying to buy from them online. So I ended up having to go back in and go through the cart process multiple times. But without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and get into my package of all of the different coupon items that I received as well as some deputy service items that I received from the cafe, which you could only purchase items from the cafe if you actually went there in Japan. So I had to get somebody to go there to the cafe and purchase the items for me. So the first two items are goods that you could also buy online. So you can purchase these online and get them shipped domestically. But this first one is a Sailor Moon Coupot Cafe acrylic stand. It's super pretty. It features Usagi Skino in a really cute little apron and dress that is coordinated with the Coupot logo styles. She is also holding a little sundae in one hand and some desserts in the other. There's a little heart keychain that's included on it, and there's a Coupot Sailor Moon Ice Cream Moon stand that goes with it. It's very, very cute, and I like the color combo here because obviously I like purple. It's my favorite color. The next item I received is a Sailor Moon lunch bag cooler. So this is the kind that's insulated on the inside. It features, again, Usagi in that same kind of stance on the front of it, along with some cute little Sailor Senshi symbols all along it. It's also the same color co coordination, so it's that pretty purple, and it has that really cute ice cream cone shape on the front. On the back it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon, and then the inside is simply an insulated lunch bag. So I could totally bring this into the studio with me every single day when I go to work and I'm super excited about that. It's really big too and I like that it's pretty large for a lunch insulated bag uh, because that means I can fit tons of food in it because I'm an American and I eat a lot of food. From a second seller and you will see this in another video that I do, uh, this is the mug that was only available at the cafe. It features Usagi's bedspread print so it has the little bunny stars and the crescent moons all over it. And then on the back it says Coupot Cafe Sailor Moon for the collaboration. Uh, the inside, the handle, the bottom are all exactly the same as the other Coupot Cafe mugs. So this will go really great with my other ones that I have currently down here. Now I did get the last two mugs uh, in the Coupot collaboration series, at least until next year if they announce more. So the only ones that I'm currently missing out of the mugs are the mint one from series three. So I'm hoping I can find that one on eBay or Mandrake one of, one of these days. And the last item that I received from a reseller you could only get at the cafe, and this includes a coaster and a plate set, uh, which you would only get if you purchased a drink and a dessert. So the first one is this adorable coaster. It features eternal Sailor Moon, so she's got her beautiful wings behind her and one of my favorite brooches of all time, of course. And then on the front it says Coupot Sailor Moon, and it matches all the other coasters. I am slowly getting all of these slowly over time. So I'm hoping eventually I will have the entire collection of coasters. So if you ever see one and you want to send me one, I'll gladly pay for it because I'm always looking for these at a decent price. And then the other item I received from the cafe only, it's limited edition, is this really, really pretty plate. So this again features Eternal Sailor Moon's Fuku and then the beautiful brooch on the front. And it's kind of cute. You can kind of see it on the sailor neckline, but it says thank you in teeny tiny print. And then at the bottom it says Coupot Sailor Moon and that's about it. So it's really, really pretty. It's very different from the previous plate, so I know a lot of people didn't like this design, but I thought it was really pretty. They are announcing a new line starting, I think, like 
today as of the day of recording that features tuxedo mask. So I'm hoping I can get the matching plates so these can be side by sides. So I'll have tuxedo mask and I'll have eternal sailor moon and it will be super cute. Okay, so since most of those items are still available online, I will put the pricing down below and the link to the Qpot store so you can purchase them yourselves. Just remember to follow that tutorial that I set up a few weeks ago online on this YouTube channel so you can learn how to do it. And by the way, if you are interested in more tutorials and more unboxings like this and reviews in the future, make sure to subscribe. When I hit 500 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a big Sailor Moon giveaway. So make sure to subscribe so that you can be a part of that giveaway too. Alrighty, now we are breaking into my favorite part, which is the jewelry line from Coupot. I'm so excited. But before we get to the jewelry, I'm going to show you a couple more little accessory goods that I received. Uh, the first one of these is the second mug for this season. So this one features Usagi on the front of it in the same stance as the other goods that I shared with you. It says Ice Cream Moon. On the back of this mug it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon Ice Cream Moon and then it has a bunch of senshi symbols all around. So it totally matches. It's very cute. It looks a lot like the season three Chibi Moon mug so I'll do a comparison shot so you can see them side by side. Very similar colors, very similar art design so they look really cute together, I gotta say. All right, so I did mention the freebies. This is the first freebie. So this is the one that you could get at, I think it was 20,000 yen. Hopefully I got that right. But this cushion is rather small, but it's very, very pretty. And it looks like it's pretty well made. I don't see any loose threads or anything, but it says Q-Pot Sailor Moon at the top. Features that same stance of Sailor Moon or Usagi. Oh, I just noticed too, she's wearing the eternal brooch on, as a necklace, which is really cute. And then it says ice cream moon and it's shaped like a little ice cream cone, but you can't eat this. I also got a t-shirt, yay! And this t-shirt is actually pretty huge. I received two t-shirts because I ordered three different orders because the website kept on crashing on me and I didn't want to miss out on any of the awesome jewelry. So this is the t-shirt, it's white. Um, it's really pretty, it's very large, so honestly, it's pretty big. I could wear it as like a sleep shirt, to be honest, but it features the same art as the little ice cream cushion thing as well. So yeah, there's your thing. Okay, let's go ahead and break into all of the jewelry, which is super fun. Okay, so I did go ahead and go kind of nuts on the jewelry because all of these tend to sell out really quick. I actually missed out on one of the items that I really wanted to get. It was a duo line of two necklaces, which included a collectible case for the two necklaces. And it was supposed to be based on the Eternal Sailor Moon uh, tiara, the, the really big staff that she uses in the last season. So I didn't get the collectible box, but I did get both of the necklaces. I just bought them separately, which means I paid the same price, I just didn't get the box, so no issue there because I did get these really pretty boxes instead. Each of these different pieces of jewelry features this really pretty box that they come in. It's made out of cardboard. The back of each one has a Toei sticker so you know that it's legitimate. And the front has really pretty pink foil and it has the same art print as the other items too. When you open each of these items from Qpot, you receive a little directional book which tells you how to care for your jewelry. You also receive a little bit of packaging material for your jewelry. There's also a whole bunch of like the Easter bag basket type of paper inside of it and then you have your piece of jewelry. So I decided to get both keychains and necklaces for a few of these different items depending on if I wanted to wear it as jewelry or not because I like to use my items. So this first one is the Usagi bedspread print and I purchased the keychain not the necklace of this because it is rather huge but it looks like a cute little bunny cookie. It is kind of bendable because it's made out of that same kind of silicone type of material as the other jewelry lines that Qpot has done. Uh, there's a cute little star that has a Q on it in pink on the front and then there's also a little crescent moon and the crescent moon says Qpot Sailor Moon made in Japan on the back and the front and this is adorable it says I love sleeping and eating which is definitely true especially now that I just received a new mattress for our master bedroom and it's so amazing. I've been sleeping so good you guys. 
The back of this keychain is super cute too because it features kind of like that cookie bubbly effect that you get on normal cookies when you bake them. So it looks really cute. I love it. It's an adorable keychain. I can't wait to put this on one of my purses and use it all the time. All right, the next item is, ah, it's the Sailor Stars brooch. Be quiet boxes and it's in a macaroon style. So this is um, pretty small compared to the Usagi bedspread but it features a blue star and it has the stars uh, star on the front of it which is super cute. Each of the little gemstones is in the color of the inner senshi and then on the back there's nothing written there or anything. It also has a cute little crescent moon with a Q on it and a pretty little ribbon printed in it and then the back of that says Q pot sailor moon made in Japan just like the previous one the it feels like it's made out of plastic maybe but it is very nice it's very heavy too it's nice quality so it feels really good in the hand and I think this will look very very good on one of my maybe one of my smaller purses the next one is I don't know which each of these are so I'm just kind of guessing along the way oh yes okay so this one is the Sailor, which Sailor Scout did I get? I think this is Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon ice cream thing. It's a, it's an ice cream headband so I could stick it in my hair like so. And then I would have a cute little ice cream at the top of my head. I purchased this one because it looks very obviously like a scoop of ice cream as opposed to some of them like I believe Sailor Pluto's was brown and it looked like a scoop of poop as somebody on uh, on Instagram said but it has uh, Swarovski crystals in it I believe these are Swarovskis and it features a couple of different colors depending on the Sailor Scout that you purchased for the ice cream scoop uh, you could get this in a headband style or you could get this in a ring style too I decided a headband would probably work better for me. The headband can come out of here, uh, which I was kind of disappointed at. I was hoping that they would actually put a headband inside of here so that it would hold it a lot better, but they just basically stuck a little cheap headband inside of there and tied it like so to the bottom of the ice cream scoop. It also features a little gold star and the star says Sailor Moon on the front and Q Pot as well. Now with this ice cream, I also decided to purchase uh -huh, this, which it looks a lot more gold than I thought it was going to be. I purchased the pink gold uh, little ice cream cone. And what happens is you can stick your little ice cream inside of here i don't i might have to take the headband off of it oh no i don't need to cool so what you can do is stick your little ice cream on top of the ice cream cone and then you can display it instead of wearing it in your hair or wearing it as a ring i think that looks really pretty and the uh the label on here is not paper like a normal ice cream cone it's painted on so it doesn't move around or anything it says cupot sailor moon ice cream moon and then on the back of here oh no actually it's a sticker around there. So the label on here, it looks like it's painted on or if it, as if it's paper. Uh, it's actually a sticker and the sticker looks like a really, really shiny material. So you'll just have to make sure not to peel it off because it probably won't come back on. And it's quite heavy, so it will stay in place no matter where you put it. It's a lot, this, this combination is a lot smaller than I thought it was going to be, honestly. Um, I don't think it was worth the price because I think this was like $60 just on its own, which is pretty pricey for just a little ice cream cone. So I may end up reselling this just to get my money back because I don't know. It's t it's so tiny. I was hoping for something bigger. I don't know. I like to display things, but I am quite excited about displaying those things. So I want like the biggest and the bestest that they have. So I'll go ahead and put these back in the boxes and open up the next item. All right. So the next item I have is, ah, yes the crystal so this beauty is the first necklace of the group that i decided to receive it is a squishy silver crystal yes it is squishy and it's also tinted pink so it's a really pretty glowy pink that you can see there it's shaped like the silver crystal it is not made out of glass or anything like you would expect it to be but cupot decided to go with their normal silicon-esque type of uh, material for this as well it's still very heavy and I really like the chain that's on here because it features these cute little teardrops along the sides. And it has a lot of design qualities that are on the little silver notch thing that's up at the top of the silver crystal. So it looks very, very pretty. And then of course it has the little Q-Pot logo at the top, just like the other ones. 
And next we have, yay! Okay, so this one I'm actually going to do as a double unboxing. All right, so here we have both parts of the Eternal Tiare Scepter thing, the staff whatever you want to call it. So this one is kind of cool because it features two different parts, uh, just like the 1990s toy, if you're familiar with those. And if I can loop these around my hands correctly so you can see both of them side by side, uh, basically on one side you have this cute little piece. And there we go, I'll stick it in there so it goes all the way. So you have the staff on one side and then you have a stand on the other side. And the neat thing about these is you can take them off of the chains and combine them so that you have the, I guess you would say the stand in the center of the staff on the other one. So I'll put these together so you can see that real quick. You can basically wear these together uh, as one necklace in itself and then just put the other piece to the side as a display or you can wear them as separate necklaces too. I'm not a big fan of the ball chain that these came on because it's fairly cheap and I would have wished that Cupot used something like the previous compacts that have come with different seasons uh, but you know it works, it's okay, I guess. This is the one that featured two different pieces with a limited edition box and I didn't get the box because the website kept on crashing. So I did end up getting two of these really pretty round boxes instead. So I'm gonna stick these back in there and then I will show you the last two items from my Q-Pot collaboration line order. All right, so these last two also come together as kind of a similar branding, but the first one is the Sailor Moon Eternal Compact Brooch. Uh, so this is yellow, just like the one in the anime and manga. It has a little Q-Pot logo at the top near the buckle. The chain on this one is really pretty and it's very unique. It has a little feather on one side uh, to give it a little bit of a nice, beautiful effect, to be honest. And then at the bottom, we have some Swarovski crystals. We have the macaroon shape of the compact, just like the previous ones. It has two wings on both sides and it has all the different colors based on the different Sailor Senshi. And there's a cute little orange candy in the center, which you can't eat. It just, it tastes like nothing. Now on that note, I also decided to purchase the keychain too. So this is the keychain version of the Eternal Brooch. It's really, really pretty. And it's also the same size as the necklace too. So depending on which one you want, whether it's a necklace or a keychain, you'll basically receive the same kind of quality out of both of them. This is a very, very heavy keychain too. It's a really, really nice quality. And it features all of the same crystals on the front of it, as well as the same design on front and back. All right, that was everything. That is a lot of little circular boxes. I wonder if I can make a tower out of all of these because why not, you know? YOLO, you only live once, right? Okay, seems to be working all right. All right, so there's my package of Q-Pot jewelry and Q-Pot goods from the Q-Pot fourth collaboration line. Uh, fifth collaboration line, fourth collaboration line from Cupot. It was really, really fun to unbox all of these with you. Let me know what your favorite item was and hopefully I didn't destroy any of mine when they just fell out of my hands just now. Oops. But I hope you enjoyed that unboxing. Uh, subscribe below if you enjoyed this video and make sure to like it too and share it with your friends so that we can get our subscriber count to 500 so I can do my first giveaway. Make sure to check out that Q-Pot tutorial for the website and how to purchase. And if you wanna see any other videos in particular in the future, definitely let me know in the comments. Again, my name is Sailor Snubs and I'll see you next time. Johnny.